गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स टूडे वी विल स्टडी क्लास नाइन्थ चैप्टर टेन दैट इज ग्रेविटेशन एज वी नो इन अवर सोलर सिस्टम ऑल द प्लैनेट्स रिवॉल्व अराउंड द सन सो देयर देयर इज अ फोर्स बिटवीन द टू पार्टिकल सन एंड द प्लैनेट्स which allow them to revolve around it in a fixed path so that fixed path in which the planet revolve is called orbit so the question arises the what the force which help the plant planets and sun to revolve around this uh, uh, revolve around the sun to the planets so here we will discuss about the chapter 10 that is gravitation so gravitation is just a force of attraction between any two particles in the universe so we simply call it as gravitation or gravitational force so gravitation is the attraction between the two particles or two object of the universe so as or as you know when we tie a stone to the thread and allow to remove in a circular path the the stone which is attached to the thread revolve around the axis in a fixed path so which means there is a force between the axis and the outer side of the circle so here if we allow a stone to move around this so here is a force that allow to move in a circular path that force which occur to the center of this path is called centripetal force so what is centripetal force the force that keep the body in the circular path so this force always act toward the center so that's why it is called centripetal force due to this centripetal force there is motion of moon around the earth force between sun and planet is called centripetal force and the, all the objects of the universe attract each other as you see a falling of leaves from the tree falling of apple or mango from the tree is also due to the force of gravitation so every heavy object or a small object or a two small objects or two heavy objects attract each other with a force that is called gravitation so here the next is universal law of gravitation so this law is govern the attraction of two objects so here the universal law of gravitation states as consider the two object a and b the a is a heavy object having the mass m here b is the object which is smaller than a having a mass b both both the objects a and b are at a distance d apart so here we can see the force between object a and b is directly proportional to the product of masses of two object a and b so here the force between two object that force is directly proportional to mass of the object a and the mass of the object b so we simply say the product of two masses also this force is directly uh, sorry inversely proportional to the square of distance between them so the distance between them is d so the force is inversely proportional to the square of distance so by combining the both equations we get m into m upon d square this is the sign of proportionality we will skip that sign so f is equals to g m m upon d square so that g is called constant of proportionality or we simply say that gravitational constant so from this the gravitational constant has very important aspects uh, like this the characteristics of that is um, firstly we have to find that g from this equation 
Just multiply d square on this side, we get f into d square is equal to g m m. f into d square upon m into m is equal to g. So here the g is constant of proportionality and whose value is 6.67 into 10 power minus 11 newton meter square per kg square. So how we calculate that unit? Because we know the unit of force is newton. Unit of distance is meter square. Unit of mass, here we have two masses that is kg into kg. So what we get? We get newton meter square kg power minus 2. So it is the units of g. SI units of g. So we can define the G as G is equal to F if M is 1, small m is 1 and D is 1. So 1 means 1 meter, 1 kg and that is 1 kg. So how we define the G? So gravitational force G is said to be the force of attraction when the masses of two objects are unit and they are unit distance apart. When these two three quantities are unit then G is equal to F. So we simply say that the, the value the force of gravitation is equal to G or F when the both the masses are unit and they are our unit distance apart. So the, this law is called the universal law of gravitation. So why this law is called universal law of gravitation? Number one, because it is applicable to all bodies. A body is heavy, small, celestial body or terrestrial body. Celestial means uh, the body is in the space. Terrestrial means the body at the land. So it is applicable to all bodies. This law is applicable at all places. All places means on land, water, air, space. Next, this law is applicable all the time. Today, tomorrow, yesterday. So here we can say that the, this law is called universal law of, uh, law of gravitation because it is applicable to all the bodies of universe or at all the places of universe and last at all times, today, tomorrow or yesterday. So here uh, this is the universal law of gravitation. So that G is called gravitational force also when this, these uh, three things happen. So the characteristics of gravitational force means uh, this force doesn't need any contact between the two particles. So next is this gravitational force is called inverse scalar force. So why it is called inverse scalar force? Because this force is inversely proportional to the scalar of distance. That's why it is called inverse scalar force. Because this force is dependent of inverse distance. Next is this gravitational force has action reaction pair. What do you mean by action reaction pair? That is the force which acts on one body is opposite to the force that is act by other body on first body. That is if this force is act on this body then this force is act on this body. So here we can say that that is action reaction pair. Uh, if the two bodies are small then the gravitational force is also small. If the two bodies are bigger then the gravitational force is also bigger. So here you can see force is directly proportional to the mass. So that's why it is directly related. If the distance between the two particles is large then the force is small. If the distance between two particles is 
small then the force is large if distance is large then force is small so next we will do the numerical related to the uh, this formula that is f is equal to g m m upon t square here we uh, we have given the mass of earth is 6 into 10 raised to power 24 kg and the mass of moon is 7.4 into 10 raised to power 22 kg also the distance between the mass uh, between the earth and the moon is 3.84 10 par 5 km we have to calculate the force of gravitation between moon and the earth so the force is given by g m m upon d square here the value of g is we know 6.67 into 10 raised to power minus 11 and the value of m is 6 into 10 par 24 Value of small m is 7.4 into 10 raised to power 22, and the value of d is 3.84 10 power 5 square. So by calculating this, we can calculate the force between the two particles. So the force between the two particles is given by 2.02 10 power 20 newton. So in this way, by knowing this formula, we can calculate any of these quantity which is unknown. So here we had complete the universal law of gravitation and uh, under the chapter number ten that is gravitation. Thank you.